Hey, I'm the short Scottish guy, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hi, Nano. Oh, she twisted her ankle. Oh. Uh huh. It's a Sheikah Slate. I got it for coming back from the dead. It's a symbol. It means that I am the hero of legend. She knows about it because apparently she's over a hundred years old. Empa is yeah, where I pointed at the end of the last episode. Oh, cheers, babe. Wait, where is that cuckoo? Pretty similar to Kakariko Village in Ocarina of Time. There's a side quest that you can get given to return all the cuckoos. So I just like to preemptively return some of them. Just the obvious ones at this point anyway. Apparently uh, from something I read online, they're not all actually available to find and return at the start of the game. They only start some of them only start appearing after a certain number of hours have been played. I don't know if that's right or not. But I'm sure I'll probably get to that point anyway where I've spent that many hours on this again. Right. Normally if you come here at a certain time of day there's a guy here that's like Stay out of this patch. There's actually, I think this sign says it as well. Yeah, no trespassing. So you've got to do it when the guy's not there. And that guy down there is a painter who helps you find memories, which is something that's not available just yet to do. And this is the clothes shop which I was planning on going to because this has the Sheikah armor. Also has this stuff which is useful too. So how much is this stuff? <gasps> Stealth chest guards over there. Okay, thank you. Stealth stuff. 600, 700, 500. Now I need to sell stuff to try and buy them. <laughs> Hopefully I can get enough from selling stuff. Ah, um, doesn't look like it actually. I need a lot more cash. Ah. Well, on the plus side, I can I can buy this stuff here on my right because ah. this stuff's quite cheap. Ah. Please stop making that noise. It's making me uncomfortable. Ah. So bad. Please! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I can get one of the chic items at least. Let's go for the stealth mask just, just now. <laughs> and before we go talk to Impa, we'll do the shrine, which is up this way. This little kid will take me to a great fairy fountain, which I don't need to go to right at this moment in time. Aha! This is going to be my first test of strength, I think. Oh no, it's not. What oh, is actually? A minor test of strength?
Uh, see, this is before the test of strength. It's just uh, learning about the. Basically, just giving you some combat advice. That seems like a good weapon, so I'm not going to use that in this fight. Is this a shield? And I have room for that because I got the extra slot. Use the side top to avoid the enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Yes, I know. Come on. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Do it again. Haha. <laughs> I should maybe not do that. I'm just meant to do the stuff that's telling me to do and only hit it once. <laughs> Repellent's what you saw me do with the Guardian Blasts. I'm not very good at doing it against actual attacks though. Thanks for proving me wrong, me. <laughs> doing it first time there. Charge attack. Yes. Oh, it must be the next um, battle advice bit that teaches you how to do the perfectly timed strike back. Another whatever item that might be. I'm hoping it's diamond. I need diamond. Ah, oh Paul. That's not worth 500. Loop. Time to go talk to Impa. I'll return these cookies first though. Yep. This one, can I just return it from here? Or is that going to fly too far? Ah, oh, just a tiny bit too far. Oh well, we'll get it in a second. Yeah, so maybe it's just the person that gives you the quest isn't there before a certain point in the game. Anyway, how many have we got? One, two, three. I've returned five of them, that's pretty decent. Just a second, I'm going to get another Korok seed. Don't need to be alarmed at me. Help if I did it right. There we go. Yay! Hi there. Hmm. Is that a secret slit? But that would mean you're... No, it's impossible. Not possible. Can it be? Ooh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Thank you! I could have... Probably just ignored them and flown right up. Hello. A man. Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah's late. C 
could you be the hero my grandfather told me about? What was his name? Lin. Lin. Uh. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for my name, it's P P P. <gasps> Whew, I got it out. Can I go talk to Empa now? Thanks. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh. You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiar familiar familiarity. <laughs> it is I, courageous one, Empa. Surely you must at least remember the name Empa. Oh. I see, so you have lost your memory? Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago, oh. yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some w words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to re receive the princess's message, return to me. Yeah. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Let's do it! Ha! <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward, forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged.
upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. years ago in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior, but in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts, that is what she said. Four divine beasts? The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The Divine Beast Varudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons, the Divine Beast, the Divine Beast Va Medo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito, the Divine Beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora, and the Divine Beast Va Naboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Oh. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Yeah. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Oh. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It's a small village, one of very few places that avoid one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant ja damage during the Great Calamity. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and High Rose as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. <laughs> Sorry. So that seems like a good place to end it for this episode. Yeah. Next episode, I think we're going to climb this tower and then go to Hateno Village. Seems like a good plan to me. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys, if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, my socials will be in the description, and if you'd like to follow them that would be great. And anything else you might want me to do in this game, apart from continuing doing all the story and finding the memories and stuff, let me know, I'll definitely consider it and most likely do it. It's going to take a lot of you to convince me to do the Korok seeds though if you want me to do all 900 of them. A lot. And I'm probably not going to do it. So, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.